Hi crafty friends, it's Audra Monk, the crafty yogi, and welcome to the crafty corner. Yay! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so welcome, welcome. I'm going to refresh my computer and let it know that I'm here. Um, okay, I'm Audra Monk, the crafty yogi. It is Monday, June 14th, 2021. So any classes or specials I talk about will relate to this um, time period. But this project, you could make this anytime, anywhere with our, um, any paper. Although, you know, I'm going to recommend Stampin' Up! paper because it's the best. All right, let's see. Oh, I got to refresh one more time. Um, so if you're here right now live, you're going to see a little red live in that corner. Yeah, that corner. Um, if not, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, welcome. Give me a like, give me a love. Let me know that you're watching. Um, that really just helps me know when I'm making content that is appreciated and if there's something you want to see let me know all right I'm also fixing there we go I'm fixing the tabletop so what is this it's mid-june um what's going on in the Stampin' Up! world okay in my Stampin' Up! world um I am working on the star banners um they will go out by Friday Friday afternoon if you're picking up after two or three um, I'm planning to work on them tomorrow afternoon and a Wednesday, but I got to get ahead of myself because I have to teach a yoga class on Friday morning. So that changes my schedule just a little. Um, yay, there's friends here. Oh, I'm super excited. Okay. I don't know where they are. Um, I'll post them again tomorrow. My just cards class. You have to RSVP by next Monday. And that RSVP is a hard deadline because that means next Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday, I prepare those cards. So if you want to get in on those cards, they're super cute. Um, let me know and I will post them. Hey, Darlene, welcome. So I'm really excited about this project and in typical Audra fashion, it is not done. It is not ready. It is not 100% what I want it to be, but it's enough that I feel I can share it with you. And we are going to create one using a different product suite because I think you're going to think it's, it's really, really cool. So, hey, Terry. All right. So, this is for all of us, um, what would I say, Nostal nostalgic people, right? We like our photos. This is also for people that will not print their photos. You can print your photos, okay? This only needs a little bit, and this could make a great gift. All right, you ready? Let's get and jump down. Okay, so I'm calling it a mini pocket album. I saw the basic outline from a lady. It was, um, I think it's... Najiza Creates. I don't know. It was a lady in the UK. And really, it's one piece of cardstock and a bunch of, well, and a bunch of DSP. But it fits 6x6 six six DSP, which I think is really fun, which is what she also said. Look at this. Okay, and I know it's only half done. I did not have time. Um, so, our son graduated from college, and we went to take some pictures. And is this not adorable? Couldn't you see making one of these for, like, if you're the parent, like me, make one for my mom or for my mother-in-law now he probably doesn't care and he probably wouldn't want one um but if you have someone who likes something like this and I hate to stereotype because I know there's dudes that would like this um but definitely if you have a a, a daughter or a granddaughter oh thank you guys um I think they would appreciate it. And look at this. You can take our Taylor tags. Look at that. So he went to Indiana University in Indiana. I know in the East Coast, a lot of people ask me, Pennsylvania? I'm like, no, in the Indiana. Um, so you could make tags. I think I'm going to put like a 2021 across the bottom in white. Um, let me show you a little bit. So you can print your picture small. Uh, he did music and he went to the Jacob School of Music. Oh, did I lose my red tag? I did. Okay, so on a red tag, I'm going to put Jacob's in our letters and spell that out. You can print your pictures small um, and add them to tags. I put some on because I thought it was fun, but like you could put information here. Um, you could take extra pictures. Now, the pocket's not deep, so you can't put anything super heavy, but I could totally tuck extra pictures in there. Um, and so I've, hey, look at that. Jess is here. Um, Roxana is here. Darling knows Jess. Okay, that's super fun. Um, but I thought it was a really neat project. And this is more pictures than I need. But I like the idea of using the tags. Because um, like this, I did take a picture uh, with the mask. Because that's how I spent the last year and a half. And I could write that on the back and put that in there. 
Um, I don't know. I thought it was super cute, super fun, and a great way for six by six DSP packets, but you could also use it with big paper. It's totally fine. Okay, so that said, here's my half done project. <laughs> and now I am gonna show you how to make one. Okay, can I don't need any of this because we're not gonna do the decorative stuff. Um, well, actually, no, we're gonna do different decorative stuff. So we are gonna use, because I thought, you know, I told you guys my niece had a baby. Um, I think, you know, I don't know if my, you know, 25 year old niece would even want one for herself, but wouldn't my sister in law? love to have one of these little like it's almost like a little brag book right hey Dawn oh my goodness this is so fun um so I got out this baby set and I went ahead and went with the um idea of using the six by six pack because we don't have a necessarily a baby paper right now but to me I love pastels and babies I love bold colors and babies but I really like pastels and babies so I cut my paper already um and here, actually, I'm going to show you these now. Look at these. If you don't have this set, it's called All for Baby. Look at these little onesies. And really, guys, I'm sorry. Look at the hangers. They're so cute. I love dolls. I don't know if you saw my stories. I got a new American Girl doll. Um, she's super cute. But there's little onesies. You can stamp little onesies. You can stamp little outfits. And there's a cute little bear. We're going to put a bear on the inside and a bear on the front. So we're going to decorate this one up just a little bit with these uh, pre-prepared things. Okay, so we're going to leave those there. All right, so what do you... Let's move this out of the way and this out of the way. All right, so what do you need to make this project? You need one piece a of 8.5 by 11 paper. And we are going to cut this, which I already did. You are going to cut this to 10 and 3 eighths by eight and a quarter. Okay, so you're only cutting a little bit off and I'm pretty sure I used that strip to cut out my hangers <laughs> with. So save that little strip and you're gonna use that. All right, we are gonna score this one. And I'll just score here, cause this is out. I was like just printing pictures and I was getting all excited with the ideas of how to um, decorate that up and I just didn't have time. We went out to dinner. It was worth it to go out to dinner um, with my family. Okay, on the long side, and I will, you know, I will put these um, dimensions in sometime tomorrow. I don't think I have time tonight, but sometime tomorrow I'll put these dimensions in. I need to actually get my son's graduation announcements addressed because he wouldn't send them. Um, okay, what are we scoring at? Long side, score at three and a half. Uh-oh, I just lost a little light. Which one went down? Let me see. I got extra batteries. I'm prepared. They are charged up. Three and a half. Three and five eighths. Okay. So five eighths is one, two, three, four. So it's two little lines past three and a half. And I'm gonna show you why. I did like how the lady did this. Um, although the pockets aren't gusseted, which made them kind of um, tight. So I might change that later. Not today, but later. All right, seven and an eighth. Oops, we need more space. Seven and an eighth, right? I'm looking at my notes. Okay, seven and an eighth. One day I'm gonna have this all typed up and ready to go at the beginning. Ha, right, one, two, three, and then seven and three eighths. And there's a reason this one is bigger. And then you're gonna flip it and do one side, it doesn't matter which one, on the short side at two inches. That's gonna make our little pocket. Okay, we're gonna take that away. This is crumb cake, if you're wondering. I went crumb cake. You know what? I am going to switch that battery real fast. Hold on, my friends. That battery is getting ready to go. Look at all that better light. Okay, so I did crumb cake because I thought it went nice with the subtles. And I'm also not going to do the extra layer. So if you want this extra layer, you're just going to add an eighth inch of um, paper, that white layer versus what the DSP is, just in case you're wondering. All right, and then we're actually gonna cut first. You know I'm still going on with the long debate. Do you burnish and score, or do you um, do you cut first? I'm gonna cut first. So we're gonna cut this, the little extra bit out. And that's where the measurements got a little tricky. I kind of feel like the lady that I saw kept the measurements the same, but I may have missed out. Um, 
but because the those the pockets are not all the same size. Now the one that's one eighth bigger and one eighth smaller, I didn't mind that, but the other one I had to adjust the measurements, so we get an extra. Okay, so we're cutting up there, and then we're gonna fold these down so that we can cut that flush. Ta da! And we're gonna do that on this side too. Okay, and then you don't need that. So it's pretty easy on the scoring and the cutting. And now um, we are gonna burnish. So you need your bone folder. We're gonna get all of these lines. We're gonna do these first and we'll redo these ones, don't worry. Oops, I got a little bib running around here. We'll probably stick that on. Okay, now this is where it gets just a hair tricky. Pick one of your little lines and burnish that. Okay, so I'm gonna say it's definitely easier to cut this one first, to cut those little bits out. And then your second line, it's only an eighth of an inch, so you gotta kinda squish it with your fingers. Okay, and then once you have it, burnish that, okay? And I'm gonna show you why we're doing this in one moment. Let's do the other one. So pick one and burnish it. And then pick the second and burnish it. Okay, so now let me bring in the finished one and show you why. Okay, so the reason why is so that there is room. See, can you, see? yes, you can see that. See how, because this has two folds and see how this has one fold. So that's one eighth and this is two eighths there. So that gives me room to put my tags and my photos and all this extra paper in there. And it's gonna close with the short side on the top. I like that. If you wanted the long side on the top, you would have to switch where your things are. So, so don't do that, just do it this way. Um, and this is fun because that way, like you'll see on this baby one, we're gonna put two different colors of paper. Um, this is my son's college IU, they're red. I decided they were real red um, versus, uh, what do you call it, cherry cobbler. Although I've seen stuff come in, in all the different sizes. Sorry, that was kind of out of the screen. Okay, so we've done all the hard work here. Now we're gonna go to our DSP. And so you're gonna lay it out. I think mine are cut, like I, I don't have, they have to kind of go where I'm gonna put them. And I'm not gonna do that extra layer. I'm gonna go ahead and let there be more crumb cake and put my pieces on there. You could add, I thought about adding the white, but I really liked how this looked. What's on the back of that one? I need that. Um, with just the crumb cake border. And that's just a personal preference. I like it the other way too, but I was like, this just looks, I like the more simple, clear, crisp for baby stuff. Okay, so we're gonna put that on, but then just for fun, flip over your DSP so that you can have um, different colors. I mean, different patterns. Um, if you wanted to get fancy, I mean, except you'd have to cut them different sizes um, which is too late for me to do, but you could play with that. But we're gonna decorate it with those cute little pieces. Okay, when I'm doing a project like this, I recommend liquid glue. If you put all of the, especially this one with double layers, if you put all this paper on with your stamp and seal, you're gonna use a, an entire um, uh, container of it. If you were doing this as a class, um, and you didn't want to supply the glue, I would tell everybody to bring their own adhesive or I would make the price of a stamp and seal and they get to keep it um, because I just feel like it is a ton of adhesive. And why I have a different piece here versus the others, I don't know, but I'm going with it. I don't think anybody's gonna care. So a little bit of glue. So now you get to watch me glue a bunch of things on, which is super fun. <laughs> so if you have questions, uh, let me know. I'm just gonna fold that up Actually, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna look at the border. I have a nice wide border. Why is this border so wide? I don't know. I have a feeling I may need to check on this measurement. I don't think it's gonna matter, but uh, we're gonna go with it. So you're, that's the one tricky thing. Your panels are different sizes, um, but you can get a wide one and a short one from the same six by six piece of paper. And so I think a project where you use um, different colors is a great way if you have these little paper packs. Like maybe you bought it because you wanted a certain color and then you have a bunch left over. This is a fun project for being able to use up 
that paper. And if you were doing it as a class, you could people could have different colors and it would be okay, um, depending on what theme you were theming in. If you were doing it with flowers, you could totally, people could have different colors if you wanted. Because sometimes I struggle with these little papers. I love them, but for classes, they can get tricky. Okay, and that goes on. And then you're like, Audra, how do you make the pocket? You could use tear tape, but it takes up more space. So I'm just doing one thin line. Oops, don't do that. Don't go off the paper. One thin line of glue. Maybe one dot there. And we're going to put that down. So if you're using tear tape, know that it takes up about a quarter of an inch. So you would have to make whatever. But you could do the little tiny tags with, imagine the baby's name or the baby's height and weight on a cute little tag with the picture behind. I think that would be super cute. Um, the time, their birth date and the time they were born. Uh, what else? The mom and the dad or I don't know, their whole name. I think you could have a lot of fun and make some moms and grandmas really happy with a project like this. And your college and high school graduates, I think you could do it that way. Um, I think if you went, say you just did a weekend trip, like a girl's trip to somewhere, and you literally have like four good pictures, or you went hiking one day and you're just like, oh, that was the best hiking ever. Not the hiking I just did. My dog kept eating cicadas and that was stressing me out. Um, this is for when you just have a couple pictures. And you could have a hundred pictures, but just pick your favorite. Um, Cause you know, maybe you went, you're gonna laugh. So my little niece, I like to, when she visits, we usually make her a little photo album. And I think, um, same kind of thing. You go see someone, you go see your little nieces and nephews for the weekend. Um, you know, send them some in, in the mail, put a little picture and I think they would appreciate it. Now, the younger they are, the less work you put into it, right? Cause you know, who knows, you know, you don't want them to mangle it or whatever, but, um, I think if they're five and above, you could totally do this. Or what if there's a big sister or a big brother? Give them a picture of their little new baby, um, their new baby sibling, and a picture of them in it, or them and their mom and dad. I mean, I don't know. I thought there's a lot of things that you could do where you only need three or four pictures. And I just think this would make such a good gift. Excellent. All right. And don't worry, I'll give you all these measurements. Okay, I feel that I measured that wrong. I will double check that math because <laughs> that just looks a little narrower than I would like it. But I don't think whoever I give this to is going to mind. We're going to make it look pretty. We're going to add some cute little uh, baby things on it. Okay, we're going to let that side dry. And we're going to put... All right, so it looks like I was going to do yellow on the top, and then I'm going to do mint. Yeah. Do I want that side? Do I want this side? No, I want this. I'm going to do this and this, and then yellow on the back. Okay. And, yeah, so this I do think, oh, but that looks fine on the front. Okay, so I didn't cover the ribbon on the, the two fronts. I'll show you. I covered it on the back. So we can open this all the way up. So we're going to put these two pieces on, but not that one. Ooh, now I think the plaid, the little plaid looks more baby to me. So I'm gonna use more of that. And so if you want extra layers, totally fine to add that extra layer of color. Or DSP, whatever, you know. I'm No, you would add cardstock. But on this one, I feel like if I was gonna add it, I would just do it in white. That's funny, because I did the last one in white. But because I'm using all the different colors, it would tie them together. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this, I want this up. <laughs> you ever do that? You mean you want one piece up and then you accidentally put the adhesive on the wrong side. It happens. And then sometimes I'm like, oh, the fates have said that that's the side that's going up. Okay, that's going there. All right, this is where I put the ribbon on. I like to put the ribbon under this piece. Okay, so I guess I would just use white ribbon again. 
right? Let me think. Because with all these pastels, I don't know that we have... Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What color is this? This looks like mint. Oh, I'm going to use that. No, I'm going to use the white. Oh, I don't know. Somebody tell me which one. Should we go with the gingham? Because that actually looks pretty going across that yellow. All right, I need a vote. Gingham or white on the ribbon. And you need 22 inches. 20, 21 inches of ribbon. All right. Ooh, it's, we're getting ready to have a storm outside. All right, any votes? He's undecided. I like that. All right. I'm going to go with the gingham. 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. All right, good. Roxanne, I got one vote for gingham. I was like, I like the gingham with the yellow, and the yellow is going to be on the top. So look around at your ribbon. You can do a corresponding. You can do a different color. You could do just white. Um, if I had crumb cake ribbon, that might look really nice. Okay. And now it goes like this. So to line your ribbon up, I think it's, um, I'm going to put it in the middle. Well, I'm going to do slight, slightly below middle. Um, you want to tie it in a bow first and make sure your ends. Oh, good. All right. Everybody's voting gingham. I, I'm glad. But I think because it just looks really pretty. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. So I'm okay with that. And then flip this over. And then we're going to put this on top. And that's going to, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put a little, little bit here and put that down but that's going to anchor our ribbon so that it won't fall off you could have a loose flowing ribbon and I think that would be okay also but I like the idea of the ribbon being stuck on the top okay and then this comes on Put that down. And now we're going to decorate the ins. Well, let's put that little bear on the front. So let's retie my bow. We're going to tie this bow one more time so I can put the bear on. There we go. All right. So I was thinking the little bear just sitting on there all by his little self. And you could, in the letters, just cut out baby. I think that that would look really pretty. Um, my little bear, let me look around in my, I need to restock my, uh, you might want to do something like that. Okay, so I'm not going to attach them because I feel like that should be, um, it should be in the mint macaron. That would look really cute. Um, you know, you got all sorts of shapes and circles and whatnot, but let's open it up and put some things on the inside. You could decorate that, okay? But what I was thinking is what if we just decorate, oh, how big are they? Oh, I think these are gonna be, oh, those hangers are so cute, my friends. Um, oh, what if we hang one up on each little thing and then we do littler pictures on the tags? Let's experiment. I'm not going to cut new tags, but I where are my tags? You're going to be like, why do your tags say different things? Because you can put a cute little baby picture on there. Let's see. Oh, you totally could do that. Because those are so cute. Do I have three? What do we have? Oh, you know what? Instead of the stamped ones, what if we... I'd need to cut out one more, so I won't, what if we put these? And even if you know what the baby is, and you send this later with the baby's name, I think these would be so cute up at the top like that. And then you could also do, let me find my pictures. <laughs> okay, now these are not babies, but you could do a little horizontal picture, and that would work. Or if you have your pictures, if that was a vertical picture, you could do that, and that would work. Um, or the picture could just tuck inside. So I'm not going to stick it on because I'm not 100% certain. What else? I want to show you these other baby pieces. Oh my gosh, these are so funny. Let's see if I can show them to you. How cute are those clothespins? How cute? 
So you could also do, oh my gosh, they're so little. I think I would have to make them adhesive, but you could do, oh my gosh, that extra little bit and you could put those little clothespins on there. I think I would do the hangers because that's just easier, but little, t oh my gosh, that's so, this whole little thing is so cute. So I think I'm going to make another onesie in the um, mint and I'm going to do the, uh, what would I do? I would do this one here, the mint one there, and the blue one there. I don't know. I'll play with it. What else was in there? There's a little bib. You could totally put a little bib there. And then there's little stars and a little heart. And so you could put those on. Look at those little stars. Super cute. Um, so there you go. We're just going to stick with that because I'm going to, I think I'm going to do these little die cut onesies. Um, I think those are super cute. And I love the little bear here. And then imagine that's all up and you could have, I'm telling you, those little tags with the height and weight and birth date and everything on them. I think that would be super, super cute. Oh my gosh. These would be great to offer um, at, what do you call it, craft fairs. You could offer them customized, like have a couple samples or post them on your um Facebook or whatever and be like oh you know custom baby mini albums or custom graduation albums what if this if you were making it for the kid that graduated gift cards tucked in there how cool would that be it'd be like here's your cute little memories of your thing and here is some money which actually new parents gift cards would also be very very nice okay so that, my friends, is the mini pocket album. If you make one, let us see them. We'd love to see them. You can decorate them a lot. You could decorate them a little. Um, hopefully we finish them more than I finished them. <laughs> but that gives you the basic gist of how to make them. I will share the measurements uh, tomorrow. So if you're excited, um, I'm really sorry. You have to wait till like tomorrow afternoon. Um, if you're seeing this on YouTube, I'm sorry for you too. Although sometimes on YouTube, people don't see it till the next day. Um, anyway, but I will, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll add the measurements tonight. Um, but I do want to double check on that one measurement because I think it's a little narrower than it needs to be. So um, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you um, have fun making, and you know what? This could also have no pictures in it. It could just be a really fancy card with, um, you could decorate each panel and you could tuck little tags and stuff in there. You could have fun with it. A lot of fun. Um, okay. Sorry. That just popped into my head that it doesn't even have to have pictures. It could totally be just a fun card. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this helps you in your um, crafty endeavors. If you have questions, comments, requests, if you need to buy any of these products, audremonk.stampinup.net. Um, send me a message at audramonk at yahoo.com. Um, messages and comments here are also read by me. So thank you so much. I will see you next time. Stay crafty.